synchrotron has its own particular advantages in terms of which types of experiments it can handle. The UK's new machine is a medium energy synchrotron, the largest of its type in the world. It uses advanced technology to produce exceptionally bright beams of light to support a wide variety of research techniques. I'm interested in nanoscience, especially of biological samples. So that ranges from things like skin, tendon, all the way through actually to things like cellulose and, and wood as well. At Diamond, there's a strong emphasis on research into the structures of life. Already, many drugs have been developed based on structural information provided by synchrotrons. For example, anti-flu drugs like Relenza and Tamiflu. Understanding the structure of diseases and drugs is an extremely important part of the research at Diamond, but by no means the only one. We'll have facilities for imaging large objects like part of a jet engine turbine blade. Understanding stresses and strains of equipment like this is made possible through the powerful X-rays that we produce, able to penetrate about 10 millimeters of steel. In a similar way to how CT scanners in hospitals can produce a three-dimensional map of what's happening inside the body, Diamond will have the capability to help researchers produce 3D representation of material, down to a very fine resolution. My group's uh, interested in studying prostate cancer, um, and we use vibrational spectroscopy to study tissues and cell samples. Another aspect of our work is actually um, trying to understand how dietary uh, fat influences the proliferation of prostate cancer. Another experimental station will be able to explore extremes of temperature and pressure, even able to recreate conditions at the Earth's core and in other planets, and study the effects in minute detail. We don't know how the Earth is really functioning at its core, and what materials it makes. How do earthquakes develop? We don't understand this improperly. We've all been amazed at the downsizing of electronic equipments, like computers and music devices. Without understanding the magnetic composition of the surface on a scale of a few millionths of a millimetre, all these advances would not have come about. Our ability to measure surface layers right down to the level of individual atoms will unlock new possibilities for yet further miniaturization of microelectronics. What will be looking at your diamond depends on what our users will bring. It's a question that they ask that will be answered here. Corrosion actually is costing you about 3.5% of your annual income every year. So corrosion is an important uh, problem and it is a problem where we believe diamond could help us, we could help us understand it and ultimately perhaps help us reduce the cost of corrosion in the UK. Understanding chemical reactions is also a big part of what diamond will do. The study of catalysis is a key area where you need to decipher not only the composition of the chemicals involved, but also how they interact. When you see what you're dealing with, you're better placed to change it. Synchrotrons allow you to watch processes in real time. If you want in-situ visualization of a car exhaust in action, you can do just that.